Oh, hello. Good morning from Pushkar, a small town just south of Jaipur. Yeah, that's right. So we've escaped the big city for a small little town that's actually quite touristy, which is a good thing in this case because it feels it feels right. It feels welcoming. It feels more peaceful and quiet. And speaking of peace and quiet, it's morning time, which is the best time of day to go do little walks and stuff and enjoy the nature sounds. We're gonna go hike to this temple, which is incredibly high up. Yes, that's another reason <laughs> we're doing it in the morning because it's less hot. <laughs> so let's, let's try that out. We're not at the top yet. But we, we need to take a break. Take a break. <laughs> to be honest, after our lovely sunset in Jaipur, we went back, got some food, and got real bad food poisoning. Mm -hmm. So it lasted about 24 hours, and of then like and we're still badness. recovering a little bit. Yeah. Um, but that being said, this is actually a really good place to recover because it's more quiet. It's not the big city, and there's a lot of Western food, which is mm -hmm. what maybe our gut needs, like plain just food. Simple foods, yeah, like, like just no pasta spices. and bread and stuff like that. And oatmeal for me. Or and rice bananas. and oatmeal, yeah, yeah, which is which is pretty sweet. So, taking um, it slow. Yeah, so that we were like, holy smokes, we need to take a break. Our stomachs are not 100% back yet. So for a bit low energy, that's why, but we're, we're getting healthy and food poisoning does happen here. We it thought we could happen. beat it. We really thought we could. But it's inevitable sometimes. We're approaching the top here and there's a highway full of monkeys coming down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous how many there are here. <laughs> this guy's feeding him. Oh my gosh. And there's babies attached to some of their bellies. And they're just like leaping. <laughs> this is wild. Guys, I don't know if it's the sickness, different altitude or the heat, but that got me. Oh, we made it. Asthma. And it's really stunning. Put your arms up and rub your head, Dev. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, it does. It's like, you know, religious and, and touristy and, and known and, and beautiful and it's only that big. Often it takes getting sick to realize how important health really is. And that goes for mental health as well since they go hand in hand. As I've mentioned before, I do struggle with anxiety mm -hmm. and traveling, which I do love, does tend to bring it out more often. Always being on the move and staying in new locations is a lot of fun and exciting, but it does take a toll on my mental health, sometimes to the point of taking away what I love doing, which mm -hmm. is traveling. Look, we're so lucky to have each other for support, but sometimes we do need outside help. We have a wonderful network of friends and family to reach out to mm -hmm. and are also super excited to introduce BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video. BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. It's super easy to use. You go to their site. You can use our link, betterhelp.com slash keithanddev, answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you to a professional who has years of experience helping people. Once you've signed up, you'll be matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours and can get started quickly. You can do it all from your phone or computer via phone call, video chat, or messaging. However you find most comfortable from anywhere in the world. It's the easiest way to start talking to a therapist. Let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you, often the comfort of your own home or while you're on the road like us. 
Visit betterhelp.com slash keithanddev or choose Keith and Dev at sign up and enjoy a 10% discount on your first month. Okay, so up these stairs is a lovely little cafe that has a great view of the lake and really good juice. We might get a coffee, but we actually haven't had coffee since we got sick because of our stomachs, but we know they have really yummy food. That makes us feel good. We made it to Laura's Cafe. Quite a few stairs there to climb up after yeah. all those stairs. At that beautiful lookout, that's how high we were. I like, can't believe right we there. were just there. This it's is actually also a stunning view though. I'm it's... really happy to be here. Like, we were just up there. It's Good funny, job, our little team. feet can get you far, huh? Little human feet. Yeah, that's impressive. Pushkar is beautiful from here. The lake mm -hmm. is, is stunning. We actually came here yesterday when we were feeling kind of not great still. <laughs> and we had, they have make fresh juice and it was amazing. So we're trying a different kind today. Nice. Start with the music. It's actually very loud in Pushkar. It's non-stop noises and parades, it seems. We really needed bananas in our diet because of said food poisoning we had. So banana, mango, cardamom, and strawberry in this juice, I believe, is a really good mix for our little bellies. Nice. We have ourselves Americano coffee here made from actual espresso. We have not had coffee in like three or four days because of this illness. Three days, four days? I don't know. But Something like that. I'm going to take a sip and hope my stomach can handle it. My brain needs it though. Oh my gosh. The Spanish tortilla is here, which is really nice. It's nice to have something different. Yeah, we learned about this in Spain. If you've been here for a while, you would have seen our Spanish videos where we had some tortilla. It's pretty we made much- made ourselves too sometimes. It's pretty much potato mixed with egg. And this time we got vegetables in it because we feel like we need some vegetables. Hopefully our stomachs can handle it. There's but some it looks broccoli and mushroom and all that so stuff. Good. There's actually quite a bit of Western food here, mm -hmm. which has In been Pushkar. nice. Yeah, our bodies, we, we love Indian food, but currently our bodies can't quite handle it yet. Hopefully soon. <laughs> mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. it's very nice. And we're back. We actually took a little nap there between uh, the restaurant and now, I was very comfortable in our room here at the Elephant Pushkar Hostel, which we recommend. It's been very comfortable yesterday and today. Cozy vibes. Here's a tour of our room, by the way. Welcome to our room here at Elephant Pushkar, a hostel right downtown Pushkar. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour. We have our nice seating area right here with a little coffee and tea station, which is exactly what we need for the mornings. There's also a second bed right here, so we can do some work, computer work, that kind of thing. And then you come in, other room which has a lovely bed with beautiful clean sheets exactly what we need a fan ac and then the bathroom's right here it's very simple standard bathroom but it's clean and exactly what we need with a shower toilet and sink well yeah it's time for us to read together we're actually going to begin reading chanteram which is now a series and it's a TV. book that's been recommended by our good friend Leslie, who got my parents to read it, and then my parents really recommended it. We heard it well. because they were driving, listening to the audio book. Well, we were at the car. So we heard at parts point. of it, which it sounds like a good one. And honestly, they're like these like cute couch bench things that we're sitting on, and I'm really excited to just sit and read because if you've been following along with our adventures, you know we finished the Harry Potter series together, mm -hmm. and we realized reading together. All seven books. Seven books, right? Yeah, is something that. Um, it's, we, nice. it's really nice because we're on this, our screens all the time, so it's something we can do together and be in a story and be excited to do it. So we're excited to Cups start unwind. a new book which takes place mostly in Mumbai, India, apparently. It's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Part 1. Chapter 1. It took me a long time and most of the world to learn what I know about love and fate and the choices we make. Another thing Pushkar is really known for is its Market Street, which we walked down this morning when it was just opening up. With all the it orange so flags early. and stuff, it's quite beautiful. And during the day, it becomes a really nice shopping area with beautiful tapestries. Like you think, clothes. oh, it's kind of touristy, but it's 
it's kind of nice that it is because nothing else is like this. And it's beautiful, so beautiful stuff. So we're gonna go check it out, see if there's something maybe we want to get. Also, our hostel is at the end of this hallway, which is really cool. And then we get flopped out in the middle of the busy street with motorcycles and people honking and everything. like shopping and I don't really like shopping so when he gets the opportunity he takes advantage of it. I'm trying my best to be have fun and enjoy this experience but if you know me I'm not a big shopper but I'm trying. It's surprisingly quiet eh Heath? It is quiet over here. It's I'm trying shirts. This is nice. All right new shirt on new shirt let's see it. It's pretty nice block printed yellow and pink I like the style. I don't know if I like the sleeves though. This is fun montage of me changing. Okay, big news, I have chosen this shirt. Devin liked the pattern a lot, which is little flowers, and I do too. Um, usually I was gonna go for like a paisley or like a yellow thing, but um, I think this one's really nice. I like flowers, Indian flowers, yeah. Can Sweet. Thank you very much. Thank I you. See. Thank you for everything. <laughs> yes, good luck. And just like that, I'm walking away with a $6 shirt, which hopefully lasts me longer than like a couple days. I think it will. I think it's actually pretty nice quality. This is quite a sacred religious place and so we were required to take off our shoes here as we approach the lake. Unfortunately, it's not the cleanest ground. I'll, just, I'll say it. It's our travel videos. But we have to do it. Pushkar is known as one of the holiest places in India with over 400 temples. It is a pilgrimage site for both Hindus and Sikhs. Pushkar Lake is surrounded by 52 bathing ghats where a dip in the sacred lake is believed to cleanse sins and cure skin disease. Uh, this is a really quite unique experience, I have to say. It's very personal and spiritual for a lot of people around us, so I want to be discreet, but this is really, really neat to witness this. Um, with the temples and the, the, the music, music and the birds. The little bathing. It's magical. It's, I, I feel like it is, I feel the spirituality of this place. Since coming here, I feel like I've been more thoughtful, existential. <laughs> really nice. Ah, it's been a beautiful walk and a beautiful outing. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Whoop! Into our little tunnel. <laughs> and then it's peacefulness. Oh, wow. All right, what's next? We'll see you later. A sunset lookout is next, and we're at the top, and it's so peaceful and quiet with other travelers, so we want to be respectful. So we're gonna sit here quietly and watch the sunset. Well, the sun is really nice right now. It's beautiful. Then we can look at it. So it's it's like a giant orange ball. We it's can look so at round. Just about to go under the mountain. Just about to tuck away. Amazing. For the night. Wow. Magical. Right, look at this thick menu they have here. It's actually pretty good. Um, you know, your regular chai teas, your drinks, french fries, which they haven't had. And then pizzas, well, tallies too, which is cool, it's like the combo curry. Pizza, I think I made my decision.
smoke and Rooney's. Look at this beautiful pizza <laughs> I'm having in India. My mouth's watering heavily. The cooking process was nice. Mm. I haven't had a pizza like this in months, months, years. No, it's actually really nice. Thank you so Beautiful. much. Beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. Pizza fries. They made me pizza fries because I can't eat the crust. That's so sweet of them. It looks awesome. And Devin gets to have somewhat of a quasi pizza with me. Yeah, this there is nice. you go. Okay. Not your typical Indian food, but it's yummy. That's so fun. Mm-hmm. With me. Yes, that's you. Keith just called. Keith. Beep, 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 beep. 